Now, as you can see here, I'm in the Google Slides interface and I want my slideshow to give the impression that it slides from side to side. So a continuous effect. You can make this happen by adding a couple of minor tweaks to your slideshow. So let's get started right from the beginning and create this resource together. I'm going to go to File, New, Presentation. Now, as you can see, we have a blank presentation here. I'm going to delete these boxes. I don't need them. And we are going to start with our background. Here in Google Slides, we can right click on our slides and change the background for every slide. Here we are going to choose a dark purple color and add it to our theme. That means that as I add slides to this, it automatically has that dark background. If we do not add it to the theme, then every new slide will have a white background. Sometimes that is what you want, but for this effect, we want every slide to have the same background. Let's go ahead and start on our first slide. Now, as you can see here, it has this text box, space challenges. So let's go ahead and add that. We're going to choose our shape with rounded corners, add a text box and just type space challenges. We are going to increase the font size and also choose a different font. I'm just going to go with this font and let's make the font size 70. Okay, perfect. We're going to increase the size of our box slightly. There we go. And make sure this is neatly centered in the middle. Get that box a little bit higher. There we go. And now change the background or the fill color of this box. Here at the top, we can go to fill and we're going to choose a custom fill. I'm going to select a custom white fill, which has a bit of purple in it. There we go. And I'm also going to add the transparency. So now we have that beautiful transparent fill. You can see it is different from this one, but very similar. Let's go ahead and give this text a white color. And now we have that title. The original has this planet on the left hand side, and then it has this rocket on the right hand side. And that is what will create that continuous slide effect. So let's go ahead and find these. Now for icons like this, I like to use a website called Flat Icon. So let's go ahead and open up Flat Icon. We're going to go to flaticon.com and I'm going to type in space. It's going to search for space icons. And you can see I have this planet right here. Let's click on this icon where it says copy to clipboard. We will click on that, copy the PNG file, go back to our presentation and paste it in. I now have my planet. Let's resize this planet, move it to the side and then right click to send it all the way to the back. It's in the back. Again, you can see it's different from this one because I've chosen a different icon, but very similar. Now we want this rocket and in the slideshow, when I click on press, you will see as I go to the next slide, that rocket is moving to the left to create the impression that this is a single slide and you're simply moving from side to side. You can see I can slide back as well. How do we do that? Well, we first of all need to find our rocket. Let's go ahead and find that rocket. Here we have a rocket. Let's copy this PNG file and let's paste it onto our canvas. We're going to resize that, make it a bit smaller. And let's have the rocket right here. And let's just have it hang off the side. You can see it's hanging off the side of my slide. On the next page, however, it is blank. This next slide will have challenge one. So let's say that I want to have this same challenge one on the next page. Let's go ahead and do that. We are going to copy this box. Paste it onto the next one. Let's type challenge one write a short story about an alien. Okay, let's resize this so that it looks a little bit better. It's quite large. Everything needs to get smaller. There we go. This is our first challenge. Now the problem with this is that as I move from this slide to that one, it's going to be quite jarring. It's going to jump. That rocket is being cut off by the previous slide. 
And so what I want is I want this rocket to be copied onto the next slide, but in the exact same location as where it is right here. Now, in order to make that happen, I'm going to use a little trick by using an extra box. So here I'm going to take this shape, I'm going to draw a box, and this box is going to, first of all, snap to the top of my slide. You see those little red rulers or lines? It's going to snap to the right. Do you see those little red lines? I'm going to leave it like that. I can also now take this box and the rocket and copy both elements at the same time. So let's go ahead and copy that. We're going to go to our next slide and paste those elements in. Now, as you can see, they have been moved to the same location as they were on the first slide. But because of that box, I know exactly where my slide ends. So what I can do is I can move all the way to the left and I simply make sure that that box is off my slide instead of on my slide. So here you can see I am moving it all the way to the left. Here we are going to move this a little bit more and it is perfectly aligned with the left hand side of my slide. I will remove the box and go back to the first slide and remove the box. Now, as I zoom out, you will see I have a slide with a rocket hanging off on the right. And then my second slide has this rocket coming in from the left to create the impression that it continues. When I press slideshow now, I have my first slide and my second slide. And you can see it jumps from slide to slide. That's step one. Step two now is to make sure we select the correct animation between these two. So I'm going to select my two slides and I'm going to go for transition. The transition I want is I want the slide transition and it's going to slide from the right to the left. So let's go ahead from the right, apply to all slides and press slideshow. Now you will see we have our first slide and our second slide. Now it is already giving you that continuous animation effect, but it's very fast. Let's go ahead and make this a bit slower. Medium. Okay, let's apply this to all slides. Let's go back to the beginning. Press slideshow and let's go. We are going to press the next slide. It slowly slides onto the next slide. You can continue this as often as you want because as you can see here in the original example we can have all these objects hang off the side and then simply using that trick of having a box that helps us orient it correctly we can continue adding elements from websites such as for example flat icon onto our slideshow this will then let us create a beautiful slideshow that not only slides from left to right, but has multiple chapters, sort of say, to the slide. You can keep going left, right, or snap back. Another extended way that you can use this is by, for example, using a large photograph. Here you have another slideshow, again, our rainforest with some text, more text. Well, this has the exact same effect. We have that image. The image slides to the next slide. It's the same image and it carries on to the right. Again, the same image. If you do not have very wide images, I recommend that you watch my video right here on generative fill. Now, I hope you found this helpful. I also want to say a quick thank you to all the channel members. Make sure that you scroll down and find out how you too can become a channel member. Our channel members make it possible to continue to create content such as this. And I am incredibly grateful for all your support. Now, if you want to learn even more about creating amazing slideshows, make sure you click on this video for more tips and tricks in Google Slides.